know they know that judgment's right around the corner, but they're trying to change what's written in the book, and you can't change the truth, man. There's nothing that any of these powers that be, quote unquote powers that be, um, can do to change that. And so they're they're scrambling, they're doing everything that they can, but ultimately, man, what's written is written. And like I said, you just can't change the truth. So um, so that's in uh, Isaiah 24. Um, you know, I think one of the most, um, I'm not gonna read, uh, cause I've talked about it a, a good bit in my recent videos, but one of the most, um, most known prophecies concerning the end times and, um, you know, the most size judgments is, is the book of Matthew chapter 24. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's just a full chapter. That's a prophecy that the son of man was speaking, um, concerning the generation that was to come the wicked the wicked generation you now the generation that was going to experience um the judgment but that prophecy is is so encouraging to a true believer because he's telling um he's telling his people what to do to hold on to the end you know and i and i can't i can't emphasize that enough man but we got to we got to hold on to the end you know um we got to be preparing ourselves spiritually to be able to endure the days that we're about to enter into because there's a lot of deception coming there's a lot of um there's a lot of events that that are going to happen to where people who have spent all this time instead of getting in the scriptures you know um this 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 past two years has been a big grace period man but for the people who haven't spent the time getting in the scriptures praying continuously uh for wisdom and just asking the most how to reveal things to them spiritually um separating ourselves from society separating ourselves from the world so that we can look at things from a spiritual perspective so that we can be good use of um a witness and as a as a vessel of the holy spirit um you know for people who haven't taken the time to do those things man they're it, but instead have gone to social media have just grown in the routine of just being in social media like I said, man, I've been logging out, man. I log out all my stuff. Um, but social media, tuning into the news, going around to all the things going on in the world, sporting events, concerts. Um, you know, I, I, I've said it before. There's nothing wrong with doing all these things. But at this point, man, we we as true believers, man, um, we see the cost of, of doing those things because of all the stuff going on around us. You know, it's not necessarily wrong to go to the sporting events or go, go into all these things, but we see, we see the choices that society is making in order to maintain their um, social liberties or their, you know, they're just, they're, they're simple minded way of life. You know, this is what matters to us, man, because we're enduring. We're enduring through the power of the word. We're reading the word. And this isn't just a, a history lesson. This isn't just a text. This is a, a roadmap. This is a guide to lead us all to what is to come. And that is the kingdom. But while we're down here, we got to be diligently doing the work. And, and it starts with this. You got to you got to grow in this. You've got to build in this. And um, I'm not trying to beat anybody over the head with it because there's plenty of Bible beaters and there's plenty of religious folks. Um, trust me, I've been around a lot of them. But um, but with me personally, man, I live a very real life, you know, um, just like the son of man went to, you know, and I remember that scripture. I can't remember exactly the book, but I know it's in the Gospels. And uh, the Pharisees confronted the son of man when he was doing his ministry because he sat at tables with thieves and with prostitutes and with tax collectors. And, you know, they didn't see what what he saw, you know, and just like me or b real brothers and sisters who are really in the in the truth. Um, you know, we live very real lives. We do the we do this first and foremost so we can have a foundation. Um, but we take what we've what we've learned and what we've read and apply it to others that we see need need to be um minister i don't want to say minister to but need that light you know and like i said it's not a religious thing it's not like uh i'm better than you kind of thing not at all man i'm simply sharing um in this dark generation that lacks truth and that lacks the word tremendously um so many people are out preaching the word but it's it's 
a lot of it is just um it's religious man and and it's just uh a lot of people have, have looked at this the wrong way man but uh but all in all man you know like i said um this is this is what's important man this is what's important we got